the system, and it, it does make it a lot easier. But uh, but I also have done a little bit of portable work. This uh, is made by Barker and Williamson. It's called an apartment antenna. It just basically is designed to attach like to a deck railing or something like that. I have worked uh, Croatia in Eastern Europe using this antenna running five watts. Not this year, it was last year. Um, and with that, you, uh, you adjust move, by moving this thing around, this tap on this coil, you set the band that you're going to uh, operate on. And then for a counterpoise is this coil of wire and it's marked for each of the bands. For example, if I roll it out to that point, then it's a counterpoise for 10 meters. So, got that. And um, this, is, uh, this is my keyer. Uh, with low power operations, the more uh, efficient the mode you can use, the better. Although you can certainly use single sideband, there's no uh, no difficulty with that whatsoever. But uh, CW is a good mode to use. Fernie uh, mentioned PSK31. I've got a signal link myself, but I don't actually use a QRP. I use it at home, running a little bit more power. Um, and then the issue of, uh, of power. Um, this, of course, has the uh, internal battery pack, but uh, I, for, for example, for field day in uh, this past year, I, I operated in the battery category. And uh, in order to operate for several hours, I had to have a, a gel cell like this. Uh, and a gel cell like this will power this radio for, uh, for a long time. So uh, feel free to come up and, uh, and take a look. I'm using a... Fernie's got these nice looking uh, reader bases and stuff. I'm using an old, this was from a VHS, I think it was a VHSC camcorder that I used to use. And this thing is just about to the point of being so full that I can't uh, get anything more into it. I forgot to set up my clock. But, uh, uh, and uh, the miles per watt contest, open to anybody in Kentucky, and anybody that's a, that's a ham who lives in Kentucky. And, uh, I mean, you don't have to come to our meetings or consider yourself a member of KYQRP. Uh, any contact, five watts or less. In the bands, 160 through 6 uh, qualifies for that. Uh, so don't hesitate to get in touch with me if you have any interest in trying to make some QRP contacts. And, and uh, you're automatically entered if you, if you want in the, uh, the miles per watt contest. So uh, another... Uh, and that runs the calendar year, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're getting close to the end on uh, 2008. You can see on that uh, list that Fernie printed out there that uh, we've had, uh, especially on 20 meters, which is, a, which is a good band for QRP, quite a few uh, contacts. This is a, an example of another antenna that's designed to work with the uh, with the FT817. It kind of attaches to the back, and then you just you you put these jumpers on based upon whatever uh, whatever band you want to operate. Have I forgot anything? That's our. I've got I've got one of these uh, tripods as well that I'm <coughs> playing with. Um, I have I didn't bring it tonight because I knew we were going to be inside. And then I've got a fiberglass uh, collapsible mast that uh, goes up about 30 feet that uh, that I you know slide on here and I want to play around with like wire dipoles and stuff like that. It should be a whole lot better than, than this, although this works. So anybody anything else? What well, in the uh, mobile function uh, there's a group called the Polar Bears or Eastern Pennsylvania and EPA W3 EPA. Uh, they and one of their people, and actually they have members all over the U.S., but you know they're based out of Pennsylvania. Uh, one of their members has two goats, and he likes to make little videos <laughs> and post them on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and just look for polar bears, I think it's N O R I or something like that. He has two little goats, peanut and rooster, and they're his pack animals. And he does the, <laughs> the uh, monthly polar bear uh, outing. It's just the polar bear moonlight madness. So it's like the weekend closest to the full moon. You just operate like Saturday afternoon, evening, 
and people go, you know, and they try to make contacts with each other, like, you know, so different things. But he has these little videos, and they're very well produced. You know, pack animals carrying up his gear up to the top, you know, peanut rooster, and he, you know, so it's really funny. But, you know, people get their own little, you know, different things that they want to get into. So it's uh, just, you know, you can Google QRP and find just oodles of different things that people are into. Like in Cincinnati, they had the flying pigs. You know, <laughs> everybody had their own little fish you know. Okay. Bernie had, had, had a list there of different, uh, yeah. different yeah. clubs, and there's there's a bunch of them. I'll put in a I'll put in a plug for for my favorite is is NAQCC, the North American QRPCW Club, and uh, they have both a monthly contest, which was uh, just last week. I think I did better than than had my best month ever, and then they also have a monthly activity operating challenge. Which they'll they'll give you some project to do. Um, I think like for December, it's how many QSOs can you make lasting 30 minutes or longer. So it's a rag chewing thing, and of course it's uh, it's QRP only. So uh, I happen to I happen to enjoy that one. And there's so many of them. I mean, I, I'm a member of the Flying Pigs. Haven't participated in any of their stuff. Uh, you know, there's so there's so many of them. You can't. You can't do them all.